We come to you live today from the Mia Prefecture in the south of Japan's Honshu Island for a race that has seen many title deciders over the years. Some simple, some controversial, but all contributing to a legacy that makes the Japanese Grand Prix an indispensable stop in any Formula One season. 18 corners make up a lap of the incredible figure of eight Suzuka circuit, with 10 to the right and eight to the left for a distance of 3.6 miles. Average lap speeds around here are fairly quick. If it stays dry, then expect somewhere in the region of 136 miles per hour. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness, and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position. Edging out Max Verstappen, he'll start from P2. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have the owner driver, Hamilton, Sergio Perez, and Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, Norris, Gasly, and Yuki Tsunoda. Vettel, Sainz, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Esteban Ocon and Raikkonen, Giovinazzi, Stroll, George Russell, and Daniel Ricciardo. They've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher, Latifi, Sato and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. somewhere on the ICE, be aware that we will start to see a loss of power.
DRS is being enabled this lap. We can use DRS when you are within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. some time to the car behind. Final lap, final lap of the race. Front is 3.9 seconds. Race over, take care of the car on the way in.
And with that, another year of Formula One draws to a close. And the new World Drivers' Champion is declared. Another entry added to that prestigious list of the sport's most incredible drivers. That's a spectacular victory then, and with it, the championship is secure. It's been a magnificent season, and they thoroughly deserve the cheers of the crowd here today. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart today? Well, they certainly stood out as a drive with tons of confidence on the track. I think their ability to keep their cool, even during some of the more hectic parts of the race, meant they were able to capitalise on the mistakes of other drivers, giving them the opportunity to make their way to the top spot with ease. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. After an incredible day of racing, who was your driver of the day, Ant? Well, there was a lot of incredible driving out there today, Crofty, but if I had to pick someone, it's got to be Sergio Perez. Fantastic driving. And it's another title in the bag for Red Bull. After a long and hard-fought season, they built an astonishing car this year, and the glory they'll be taking back to Milton Keynes is fully deserved. Meanwhile, good work from Aston Martin this weekend, who pushed themselves further up the order. Well, Ant, an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. Amazing performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Do you have any comments about this team? Appreciate your time. <laughs>